Okay, tonight we've got another great feature to talk about ScreenFlow 4, and it's called Closed Caption Support. This was an often requested feature for a ScreenFlow update, and it's now available in the new version. Now, not only does closed captioning allow it for easier viewing for people hard of hearing, they need to see words in order to understand what's going on in the video, but it also helps in your ranking in YouTube videos when you upload a text file or an SRT file which uh, ScreenFlow produces because that text allows words to be associated with your video. So that helps for your YouTube ranking. So two strong benefits to closed captioning right there. That other video that we did on cropping for ScreenFlow 4, I'm now gonna add closed caption support and I'm gonna show you how to do it in ScreenFlow 4 right now. First thing to do is go to your view window and show and click show caption track. I'm also going to show captions. So as soon as you choose to show caption track here, ScreenFlow instinctively divides your video into units. Actually, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see this closer. Right about here, I just said, okay, welcome back. So as soon as I click on that segment, a text box shows up here. So I'm just gonna type in what I say. That's my dog barking out there. Okay, welcome back. We're still exploring ScreenFlow 4 here and looking at some of the... We're still exploring ScreenFlow 4 here and let me see if I got all that. We're still exploring ScreenFlow 4 here and looking at some of the... And looking... Okay, so that's it. Now, let's just see what we got here so far. Okay, welcome back. We're still exploring ScreenFlow 4 here and looking at some of the new features. It basically shows how to place an ad listing on Kijiji or Craigslist. Okay, you can see my webcam shot here. Okay, I'm going to fill out the rest of this video and then show you what to do with the file afterwards. In this spot here, you'll see that the uh, closed captioning has extended the parameters of my video. Don't worry about this because you're not actually adding the visual CC. You're only creating a file that YouTube is going to manage after. It's not going to look like this at all. This is just showing you what words are going to be showing in the CC file when this video segment is playing. It's not going to look like this, so don't worry about that. This video is already up on YouTube. All I want is the file, the closed caption file that this one created. So if you go to the corner at the start of the CC file in that row, it says export to SRT. So I'm just gonna put cropping, let's just save it. And now I'm gonna go to YouTube and find that video. Well, I'm recording this before I've actually released this, so okay, that's why there aren't back. any views. Exploring ScreenFlow. So let's just go to captions and I'm going to upload my file or my transcript, cropping, there it is. It's a file, by the way. Track name, cropping in ScreenFlow 4. Update, and here's the file. It's ready already. And as you can see, it has actually extrapolated the text and all of the times that I've recorded in ScreenFlow and it's viewable right here. So if you do actually want to edit anything, you can uh, go into one of these and edit it right on YouTube. Otherwise, this is all right. So I'm gonna go done. All right, so now let's go to my video. Which basically shows how to place an ad listing on Kijiji. Or As you can see from what I told you earlier, YouTube has uh, overlaid the CC uh, according to their specs, but they're using my words and my timing for the video. So now the CC has been added to that video. And if you go to this video and play it, you'll see how it looks. Not only does YouTube place the captions in your video for you, but for the viewer, if they want to move it around, they just have to uh, click on the CC and move it around to wherever they like. So I'm holding this down and just playing with it like that. You can watch the closed captioning in pretty much any position you like. Okay, that's it. That is how you do closed captioning in ScreenFlow 4. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for some more ScreenFlow videos, how to start from scratch, sign up at combocasting.com. Got like 33 videos there to show you. Good way to get started making videos on your Mac. Take care. Ciao.